Hey, my lovely people, welcome back to yet another fly hot job lead video. Today, we're going to be getting into several different roles. These are entry level and beginner friendly roles. So make sure you definitely stay tuned until the end so you don't miss something that might be a great fit for you. We are going to go over about seven or eight roles. So I just want to make sure that you're tuned in and locked in and you do not miss anything. And we're going to get right into it. So we're starting off with roles directly from CarMax. Okay. If you don't know who CarMax is, they're a nationally known car dealership in the United States. And they have a totally different philosophy than your normal car dealerships do. Their philosophy is really putting customer service and customer sales first and how they separate themselves is they really do hone into what the customer need is and provide them core options based on their needs. So an example of that is if somebody walks into a dealership and they say, I want this specific car, a regular dealership might attempt to try and just put them in that car. Whereas though CarMax will say, okay, what is your budget? What type of car do you want? What are you looking for? And they actually have access to look all over the nation to see if there's a car specifically for your needs and they will have that car shipped to you. So the very first job that we're going to get into with CarMax is their sales consultant trainee position and role. This role is a full-time position. Here is the job ID right here. And you do see it is in Colorado. If you are not sitting in Colorado, do not fret. I have another position for you. We will be going over multiple positions and multiple different locations. So something will be a great fit for you. If you are not able Able to apply for any of these jobs, definitely make sure that you go back and look at my previous videos because some of those roles may be more applicable to you and your experience. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel by turning that bell notification on and make sure you also press all so you get every single notification when I drop new videos and new roles so you can get over and apply for them immediately. I do not want you to miss out, okay? So this very first first role is basically a sales servicing role. As you get leads from customers inquiring about cars, you will be responsible to reach out to them, to talk to them, to find out their needs, and to facilitate the sale of a vehicle, okay? So that might include having to look at the inventory nationally to see if there's a car that fits in the customer's budget, if it's in what type of vehicle the customer is looking for, because some people might be looking for a minivan versus a truck or SUV or actual car or compact vehicle, right? So basically understanding the customer needs so that then you can help solution their needs and get them the best vehicle for their needs. So it does have here that CarMax does pay new sales consultants a competitive wage while training and through their very first 640 hours of selling. So they really want to get you up and running to be able to really have confidence within the role, know what you're doing. And then at that point, they switch to more of a base payroll with commission. OK, when you think about it, sales training is also a part of customer service. So you'll have both of those. And with that training, you can move and do anything, okay? So here they're just telling you some additional information about the actual role. You will be within a team. You're going to be on an auto sales team. And you're going to definitely be contributing to the auto sales experience, okay? Some of the qualifications is sales and customer service experience in such areas as some type of retail. So if you were in a store or you've done car sales before, it is preferred. But once again, it is not required. So make sure you remember that when you are looking at jobs or when I do post jobs, if it's not a requirement, right, it would be nice if you had it, like it would be a plus, but you do not have to walk in the door with it. I get a lot of comments about entry-level positions, and I just want to make that clear when I do post jobs, and it does say preferred, that does not mean that you have to have that experience. It's just saying if you do have it, it's a plus, but you do not need it. If it does not 
not say required on a job posting, that means you do not have to have it. OK, so I just want to make that clear. They are also looking for someone that does have good listening skills along with strong customer focus and relational skills and that you're highly motivated just to help people. OK, so this goes a little bit more into CarMax. They have 200 locations nationwide. They do have a team of more than 2,500 associates working at those 200 locations nationwide. This role is paying $20 per hour, but you will be eligible for commission. So every car that you get someone in, you're going to get some type of commission off of that. So make sure you do keep that in mind when applying for this role. Now, here are some of the benefits you are eligible and entitled to paid sick time, vacation time, and holiday time. And then they do also have here that you do earn up to 48 hours of sick time per year that is accrued on a per K period basis. And they do have here that you do accrue 48 hours of sick time in a year, also between 80 and 200 hours per year of vacation time after your 90 days probationary period okay you do also get six complete holidays for the year as well as one floating holiday so keep that in mind as well now if you do happen to work on holidays due to a business need you will be eligible for a holiday premium pay which is normally time and a half so remember that as well and then down here it just goes into that if you are a full-time associate you are eligible for the sick time vacation bereavement of somebody in your family passes away jewelry duty holidays floating holidays okay so keep that in mind so once again this role is the self consultant trainee full-time role this is the job ID so definitely if this aligns with you and you are sitting in Colorado this may be a perfect fit for you all right now moving on to our second job through Cormax this is the customer service consulting work from home position all right now this is a Wisconsin specific work from home role you will be in the customer service and collections department. These are specific to Wisconsin. So just wanted to point that out. Here is the job ID for this specific role. And moving down, this is very similar to the sales associate trainee role. This is just more so a higher level role than the trainee role. OK, but you will be doing some of the same things, taking a mail customer online and over the phone basically leads and finding out what their actual car purchasing needs or looking at the inventory to just try to match them with the perfect vehicle facilitating those things that need to be done to get the vehicle to the location of the actual customer so some of the qualifications here is sales and customer service experience and they have some of the same qualifications and requirements for this specific position as well if you do have this sales and a customer service experience that is a complete plus it is preferred but once again it is not required if you can work in a thriving and fast-paced environment that's great having good listening skills and strong customer focus is a great and a plus as well strong written and verbal communication skills and then if you are okay with flexible work hours and different shifts which may include night weekends and holidays that is a plus as well if that's not something that you can do, I do have other roles, so make sure you stay tuned, okay? Now, for this specific role, they do want you to live within 60 minutes of the actual Wisconsin location. So if you're not in Wisconsin, I do have this role in other states, okay? So we'll go over that in a second. And they do have some of the same benefits as well for this specific role. So definitely, if you are sitting in Wisconsin, this might be a great role for you. You can come over and definitely apply here. Once again, this is the customer service consultant work from home role. It is a full-time role and here is the job ID. 
All right, so moving on to our very next role, this is the bilingual customer service consultant work from home role. This is another Wisconsin role, but this is the same role is just bilingual, okay? So if you are bilingual sitting in Wisconsin, this would be the role for you. And here is the job ID for this role. It gets into some of the same job essential responsibilities. And then the qualifications are exactly the same. One of the things I do like about these roles is that they do not have an educational or really an experience requirement, which is really great and phenomenal. You can come here and straight apply for this role if you are bilingual and if you're looking for something entry level and you are sitting in Wisconsin. So once again, here is the job ID for this specific role, okay? Now we have this role in multiple different states, y'all. Okay, I'm bringing y'all so many different job leads today. So they also have this role in Nevada. This is the bilingual role for Nevada. Same qualifications, same responsibilities. You must also live within one hour of Henderson, Nevada. So keep that in mind when you are applying for the role. And then here is the job ID for this one. So let's move on to the next role. Now, this is a similar role, the customer service consultant. This is for our Georgia applicants in and near Atlanta, okay, it is more of a hybrid role. So if you're okay with um, having some work at home, but also going into the office, this will be phenomenal for you. This also does have the same job responsibilities. And it also does have the same job requirements. They do want you to just live within one hour of the commuting site. The benefits are the same as well. So definitely if you are sitting in Atlanta and you're okay with a hybrid model position, get over and apply for this position. The last one that I have for CarMix, and I do have several other ones that are different jobs where you can be sitting in other places. So definitely make sure you stay tuned if these specific jobs, you're not sitting in these locations, okay? Last one for CarMax is the same role, but it is in Richmond, Virginia. So if you are sitting in Virginia, this would be a great role for you. Once again, the essential responsibilities are the same, just basically taking those inbound leads from customers calling in and reaching out online to try to find them the best vehicle for them. And then the qualifications are exactly the same as well. Now they don't have a qualification of where you have to sit though. So that's great for this role. They don't have a specific, you have to be located close to a specific area, okay? So keep that in mind when applying. Now this is the Virginia one and here is the job ID for the Virginia one. You can apply here if this is something you're interested in, okay? All right, moving on to other roles. These roles are through HCA Healthcare, okay? And HCA is a really, really big and national healthcare providers. They have, I believe, like 182 different hospitals in the United States. So we're gonna hop right into the roles for them. The very first role that I have here is the customer service rep. It's a work from home role. This is within Tennessee but they do not have a specific indication of where you have to sit. So definitely apply. Here is the job ID for this role, okay? This is going to be within the Department of Registration. So definitely keep that in mind as you are applying. So moving down to just some of their benefits. This is a fully work from home position. Some of the benefits that they do provide is medical, your dental, your vision. They also provide life and disability coverage, flexible spending accounts, supplemental health protection plans like your accident, clinical illness, and hospital indemnity plans, auto and home insurance, identity theft, legal counseling, long-term care, moving assistance, pet insurance. They provide so many benefits to their employees. They also have free counseling services and resources for emotional, physical, and financial well-being. They offer as well a 401k plan with a 100% match 
three to nine percent of your pay based on the years of your service. So that is really, really a great match. A lot of companies only match you up to three percent. So when you see three to nine percent, that's phenomenal. They also offer the employee stock purchase plan with 10 percent of HCA's healthcare stock. You cannot beat that. Y'all know I love, 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 love companies that give their employees a piece of the pie through employee stock purchasing plans. They also offer family support through fertility and family building benefits. They also have child, elder, and pet care, planning and assistance, consumer discounts, so different discounts at different retail providers, retire readiness, so they want to get you ready for retirement. They hook you up with brokers and bank partners to help make sure that you're set up for retirement. They have educational assistance, tuition, student loan, dependent scholarships. I mean, you name it, they have it. Colleague recognition programs, time away from work programs, EHA, so employee health assistant funds. They have a very big, big, big benefit offering at HCA. Okay, this is a great job if you're looking for something that has phenomenal benefits. All right, moving down to some of the job summary of what you will be doing and the qualifications. So within this role, you will just be answering phone calls and assisting patients with ordering their meals based on their dietary needs, okay? So you'll be answering, they'll say, hey, I need to call in for breakfast. And you might have to say, okay, do you have, are you on any dietary needs? Or let me look your, your chart up to see what the doctor has prescribed for you. If you have any dietary restrictions, on and on, and you will order the food and it goes right to them. So you will be more so in the food servicing customer service department, answering phone calls about food pretty much on a daily basis. Now, the hours of operation that they do have here is 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And it is seven days a week. Those are not the hours you will be working, but those are the hours that the food department is open. OK, now they do have here that there are six department recognized holidays. And you are required to work for those days based on staffing. So keep that in mind. Normally, it's not going to be all together. It might be one day in January, one day in July, one day in November or something like that. So normally it's not back to back. So keep that in mind as well when you go to apply. Now, some of the requirements for this role is obtaining the mail orders from pediatrics, adolescent, adult patients, and visitors. So you'll be just taking phone calls about the actual uh, food orders and then also processing any incoming diets and formula orders. So if they have specific dietary needs, you will be inputting that into the system to get them the food that they need based on those requirements. You would also just be looking into their food servicing system to look up different menus to see what's being served on that specific day. You would also just be processing credit card payments for guest trees. So not the patients, but if they're getting any food for somebody who's visiting, you would process payments for that. And you will be definitely in contact with different doctors, nurses, dietitians, and physicians, okay? As they set different things up for their patients and certain foods that they're supposed to have with medications or whatever, they're going to be calling in to make those requirements known to the food servicing department. They also have here that you will be training new customer service reps when they do come in, just kind of showing them the ropes and showing them what needs to be done. All right. Now, the qualifications for this role is just a high school diploma or GED. It is preferred, but once again, it is not required. You do not have to have it in order to have this job. Always remember that. They also have here that it's two years of customer service experience. It's preferred. It's not required, though. Computer literacy and ability to learn new programs quickly is a plus. So if you're a fast learner, this is a great, great job for you. They also just want to make sure you're going to have high speed internet, a private area to work that's a little quiet, you know, so you're not going to be distracted. 
they have no travel is required. You do not have to travel anywhere. And also, like I always say, when they have this up here and it says preferred is not required, this is showing you here what I mean. No experience is required and no years of experience is required, okay? They will train you on what they need you to do. So definitely, this is a really, really good entry-level position. You do not have to be sitting in a specific place for this position. If this position interests you, this is the job title once again. And here is the job ID. So make sure you get over and you apply for this role. I do have one other role for HCH, and that role is the Claims Resolution Specialist Work From Home role, okay? Now, it's fully work from home. Here is the job ID here. And getting down into some of the benefits, they have the same benefits for this role as well. You are getting so many, many benefits, and I love that. That's why I love to find y'all jobs that have phenomenal benefits. I am like the benefit connoisseur. I'm going to find them for you, okay? We're going to get them so y'all can have these phenomenal jobs. So make sure if you're not locked into the family, you get locked in now by hitting that subscribe button, okay, and turning that bell on for notifications so you don't miss these phenomenal roles with these great benefits, all right? So moving down, here is the job summary and just some of the qualifications. So within this role, this is more of a claims resolution role, meaning you will be responsible and your day-to-day -day responsibilities will be to look at any unpaid bills, claims, right? So somebody comes into the hospital, they get services, you bill them or you bill their insurance companies and the bill is like half paid or it doesn't get paid. So you're Main responsibility is to figure out why. You're going to need to maybe research, analyze, and basically come up with some type of resolution to see why, one, it's not being paid, and two, what you need to do to get it paid. So it may be um, you have x-rays and you never submitted the medical records for the x-rays so that the insurance company can look at it to actually pay the bill, right? So you might need to do that. So it's all in just basically looking at claims, insurance claims, bills, seeing what needs to be done so that you can get the bills paid and that revenue coming back in to the hospital. So some of the role responsibilities is just following up with the insurance carrier, vendor. So that might be um, like medical supply companies and also clearing houses, which are like collection agencies about open insurance claims and balances. So you know, those bills that are not paid, you're going to just be following up, seeing why it's not paid, where are we at now, what needs to be done to try and get it paid to try to get that bill solution, all right? You might have to resubmit medical bills, which they also call claims, to a primary insurance company or a secondary insurance company. And the difference between those two is your primary is going to be your main insurance company, but some people do have a secondary if they have like a husband or a spouse, they might be on two different insurance policies. And then they also just have here, identify potential claim issues, escalate the management as needed. So if you've tried everything you could try to get that bill paid and it's not being paid, then you might need to escalate that to management or figure out what's going on, okay? If you identify and resolve payer denial, so like I was saying earlier, you might get a bill back that says they don't have the appropriate medical records to process the bill. You would just look at that denial and then send it back and resubmit it with the applicable things that need to be provided for them to process it. You also will be responsible to update patients' accounts. When the bills are paid, apply adjustments to the bills, and basically just resolve claims, all right? So with this position, some of the educational requirements is a high school diploma or GED is preferred, but it once again, it is not required. You do not need it, okay? Minimum of one year related healthcare experience is preferred, but is not required. And then relevant education a substitute experience requirements. Basically, what they're saying here is that if you do have some type of experience, they'll also look at that. But once again, always remember when they do have preferred here, it is not required. It's just it would be a plus if you had it, but you don't necessarily need it. Okay.
So definitely, if this is a job that you're interested in, get over and apply. Once again, this job is the claims resolution specialist job. You can apply here. And then the job ID is here. Now, if some of these roles do not fit with your specific needs, definitely let me know in the comments, but also make sure you turn that bell on, you subscribe to the channel so you're made aware every single time I drop a video. I do not like to leave anyone out and I drop new videos every single week. I like to get you what you need so you can up level and thrive in your career, okay? So make sure you become a part of the family by subscribing to the channel and staying aware of these new job leads. Y'all know I got y'all, okay? Until the next time, make sure you remain thriving and you stay great. See you in the next one. Bye!